Hello, Dolphiliacs and Disney Dust Collectors. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. If you have, um, if you're new, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. <laughs> I'll stop being a dork. Uh, there's two things that I want to go over today. One is a recent lounge fly backpack that, a mini backpack that's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Sleeping Beauty themed is a placement bag. Uh, so when we were getting it, we were going over the three very meticulously, looking at every little detail to figure out which one. But we did find a good one. And then I also want to discuss what people think will be the new Disney limited edition 17 inch doll. I have a few ideas. I haven't really thought that hard about 2021. I think, we'll just get into it. I think that they should do Yzma. I really think that this is her time. It's her year. If anything, it would be a beautiful homage to Earth the Kit. But, you know, I think it's coming up in four days, five days. What day is it? But December 15th is the 20th anniversary of Emperor's New Groove. I can't believe it's been that long, but yes. Um, Emperor's New Groove is amazing. It's one of um, the few films where me and my sister's taste intersected growing up and we would, we all loved it. We would watch it all the time, constantly. The, a lot of inside jokes and quotes from that. Yay, I'm a llama again. Oh, wait. So, yeah, I really think that they should do Yzma, especially since she had her debut, her villainess debutante debut in the Midnight's Masquerade villain series. And it was wonderful. I have that doll. I need to actually get around to doing a review for her because she deserves it. She deserves it immensely. She's wonderful. I think that she would be glorious to have as a 17 inch um, to release because I don't think that they've done a villain this year either So maybe it'll be like Rapunzel where she'll just show up somewhere or just appear on the Disney site in a couple days I would love that. That would be a beautiful Christmas present like hey, Yzma's gonna launch Because I will go. I will get her. I need her. Anyway, I this stupid light is doing this weird thing with my glasses and but honestly it's kind of cool like i like that that's cool this is the beautiful bag the lounge fly bag that we got we got it from hot topic and i just i was actually going to say no even though it's beautiful but raymond was like it's so pretty you know you want it it's like, I do, you know what? I do want it, I do. But yeah, it's um, Sleeping Beauty theme. It's the three fairies and a bluebird and a love me a bird, love me a bird. But yeah, it has this beautiful zipper, metal zipper detail, which is the spindle and the spinning wheel. The placement's pretty good. You know, we have um, Fauna right here and Meriwether. And we didn't get Flora on here, but that was fine because really um, growing up, Meriwether and Fauna were my favorite because like, just so ditzy. One of my favorite things to do as a child was I would get, whenever I was eating ice cream, I would just start mixing it up until it had the consistency of a cake batter. And I would just repeat over and over, I'm gonna make the cake. I'm gonna make the cake. Like Fauna because that's what she did. And I thought it was so hilarious. And, you know, two eggs fold in gently. Fold. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. She is hilarious, but a bit of a ditz, to say the least. And it does have these beautiful, kind of like a blush primrose color you know if you saw my rapunzel video i love using primrose but i mean it does actually have roses and the roses have a mix of different shades in of light and dark just to really set off 
and give texture to the petals and give differentiation. And I love that. And then even some of the details have these like watercolor, like if you, this purple flower, like you can see the kind of watercolor consistency that the um, coloration has. And you can like, for, there we go on fauna, you can really see it. Sorry if I'm like moving all around and you're like, be still. It's hard for me to see what I'm getting in here. I'm trying to do this video alone. But yeah, we have Meriwether again. And then Flora. But I do love that the detail, the details on this bag still, they didn't like, they still were very thoughtful. Like this bronzy gold, it looks like tarnished gold. Goes so well with all the different colors in the bag and there's not like a print or anything special on the inside it's just a matching pink but, but it's just a gorgeous 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 little bag no side pocket say anything but what did i want to point out there's something i wanted to point out yeah fully pink on the bottom but yeah i love this bag it's really cute really pretty so yeah, here is a better shot. Here is a better shot of this bag. Again, like I mentioned, the spinning wheel detail. And then um, I wanted to point out the beautiful stitching. There's this beautiful pink stitching going all along the bag. And I do like that they have the pink right there too. Anywhere you see stitching, it is that same pink that matches the shades of pink in the rose and in the straps. And it's just absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. It's a really gorgeous bag. And here's a closer, better look at the back so that you can see all those details in the plants and how some of them have consistent coloring throughout. And then others have other like the fairies and the flowers have those watercolor textures to the paint and how the color consistency is. And I love that. And then there's even these outlined flowers and leaves just to give so much dimension. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we hope to see you again. Please let me know in the comments what you think will be the next Disney 17-inch limited edition doll release. I'm really hoping for Yzma, but what can we expect in 2021? What anniversaries are coming out? Or even like, you know, what is a long shot or what's on your wish list? But yeah, I would love to know that. I would love to hear some ideas. Thank you for watching. Oh.